Hey, what's going on, guys? How's everybody doing today? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. The body beat down here, Michael. I'm just lounging, just hanging, chilling, yelling like a villain. Anyway, today's back day. Also, I'm going to do something extra, uh, just like I did yesterday. Did something a little extra. Today, not only am I going to do back, but I'm going to do some Smith Machine squats. I'm just going to do like five sets just for something extra. And uh, anyway, make Bean Scottish Fitness. Check out his channel. Good guy. Does the same kind of stuff I do. Uh, he's a strong guy. And uh, one day I'm going to grow up to be like him. Maybe. One day. So today we're going to start out with some dumbbell rows, which I don't like to do anymore because they're so painful. And by painful, I mean just because I use the 100 pound dumbbells, they're so dang heavy and painful. Uh, I don't know how many of those I'm going to do though. But uh, we're going to start out with the 50s and uh, we're going to go up from there and get a good workout. So we're going to do dumbbell rows. I'm probably going to do some sort of pull down. And then we're going to jump on the legs. So stick around, guys. I hope you enjoy. And I got a story to tell you in just a moment. Remind me, okay? You can't remind me because this ain't a live video. But remind me. You ain't going to remind me. Stick around, guys. All right. Let's do some one-arm dumbbell curls. Oh, I don't usually do them from here, but we're going to do them from here today. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, we got the one hundreds. I'm just starting right out with that and uh, I'm only gonna do a couple of clips of this because you've seen me do this a hundred times so uh, we're gonna start with 140 
Alright guys, we're moving, on, we're moving on to our final movement for the day of uh, on the back. As you know, I love using these handles and I get on my bench and I get a good uh, long pull extension on these and we're going light right now. I might go up just a couple of pounds but not much because I just want to make this kind of a lighter, easier kind of movement. And uh, so we just got 70 on the machine. So let's get these going. Make sure you get a good stretch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, I may do one more clip, but it's gonna be later, uh, and it's either gonna be the same weight, or I'm gonna add maybe 20 pounds. So you guys keep doing your thing, and uh, we're moving right along, guys. Keep it going. All right, uh, I went ahead and I went up to 100 pounds, and that's where I'm gonna stop at with this movement. Let's get a set. Again, you want to get a good stretch on this movement. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo all right guys we got 147 the bar and this carriage that it's attached to is 57 pounds we have 45s on the end so it's 12 pounds heavier than what it would normally be say on just a regular bar so we're gonna do five sets i probably won't even go up any higher than this we'll see it's not really about going heavy, it's just about doing some extra work for the legs, just to put them through a little bit more of a workout. Of course, my right shoulder. Right shoulder isn't happy. So I got my legs pretty straight underneath me for this. I'm gonna see how this goes. And this will work out the quads better. One. Two. Three. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, guys, last set, and we're done. Notice how much easier I get up under the bar once my shoulder's loosened up. And I put my vice grips on so I can get a hold to the bar. Again, I'm keeping the legs pretty much straight under me. I work the quads a little more.
And just like that, guys, we're done. Let's close out the video. All right, guys, and just like that, we're done with our workout this Friday. So this week I added in chest and legs two times. I did them on the normal day, Monday and Tuesday, and then I added in chest on another day, and then I just added in legs today on Friday. That'll mean I went full speed, you know, both times. Uh, you know, I did a little bit different the first day and then toned it down the next time. So just hit them a couple times. I'm gonna try and do that from now on for quite a while and uh, see how that helps me. And uh, yeah, so anyway, a great workout. I felt, uh, I feel really pleased with what I did today. Uh, a little story. Let me tell you a little story about a boy named Mike. Me. Got out today in the snow, in the ice. Didn't want to, but I needed to run to the store and get a couple things for the wife. And I'd rather get out as to have her get out. So I went out and I thought, well, I'll go to Kroger today. I hadn't been to Kroger in a long time. I usually go to Walmart anymore. <clears throat> so I went to Kroger, went in, got a few things, and I was looking for something else, and they didn't have it. I was looking for to-go containers, like, you know, where people can put food in and take it to go. And uh, they didn't have any at Kroger. So I was like, son of a biscuit-eating bulldog. So I was contemplating on just leaving all my stuff there and going to Walmart. But I went ahead and bought the couple things that I had. Literally, just, I think, maybe three things. So got that, got in the car, went to Walmart, got a couple other little things that I needed, and as I was walking up to the car, I was getting to the car and I looked down and I was like, son of another biscuit eating, mother loving bulldog. I'm getting a flat tire on the brand new tire that we just got a couple weeks back. Not the older tire that's bald, but the other tire, the good tire. <sighs> in the snow, in the ice, bitter freezing cold like colder than it's been in the last 30 years. So my tires probably got about a quarter of the air that it should have. So I thought, well, my wife got the tire here at Walmart, so I'll just swing around the car department and see if they can fit me in there and get me patched up and good. Well, lo and behold, they were not open today. What a blessing that was. So went down the road, went to another place that's, just right down the road, Joe and Jerry's, it's a local place. Sat there, looked in the door. Finally, I called. I was just looking, just kind of seeing if anybody was moving around. Called, nobody answered, so I went to the door. It's locked. <sighs> so then I'm looking up on Google. Okay, who's next? Let me look. Okay, so let me go down the road and find this other place. So I eventually just pull in the Ford dealership, and I sit there, and I find this place and I call it. It's just right across the road from the Ford place, but I pulled in there and uh, nobody answers there. So they're not open. And then on the road that the Ford dealership is on, there's a couple of places uh, that probably, that I know one of them does tires. They're not open. So, and then I get a hold of another guy online. They're not open. So I'm like, heck with it. That's not what I wanted to say. I don't know what I said. I probably said a few things. So finally I just said, screw it, I'm just going home. So I got home, tire is flat, I don't care. Uh, it grips better when it doesn't have a lot of air in it anyway on all the snow and ice. So that's a plus, that's a plus side guys. So out of all the days in the world that this could have happened, it happened today on Friday before Christmas Eve in our snow, snow and ice storm where nobody's open. So there you go. And uh, anyway, and since the tire was bought at Walmart, my wife got the little extra warranty on it and, and it's covered. It's just, you know, they weren't open. <sighs> oh, happy days. So anyway, the car's sitting out there with a the flat, I'm sure by now. And uh, so I gotta figure out if I wanna get out there eventually and try and take that tire off. Probably won't. I'll probably just drive it down the road in the flat. So, anyway, a little story today. 
But I got home, I'm in my warm house, I had something to eat, I'm working out, and I really don't care. So it's all good, we go through things every day. You just gotta brush it off and say screw it and say a few words and go on with it. So anyway, hope you enjoyed the video, hope you enjoyed my little story. Go check out McBean Scottish Fitness uh, again. John, I might need a bigger shirt. I'm, I'm getting, I'm growing out of this one. It's all muscle, man. It's all muscle. <sighs> Anyhow. Okay, let me end the video. <laughs> let me take a drink. Anyway, guys, like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff, too. The Body Beat Down. That's me, Michael. Your amazing host. Everybody have an amazing weekend, Christmas, holiday. If you don't celebrate it, that's good. I'm an atheist. I still celebrate it. I grew up with it, and so I still celebrate it, and I appreciate it. Uh, I like the gifts, giving and getting. I like the food and the family and all that kind of stuff, so I'm all good. Uh, I still celebrate it, and, I, and, and it's a magical time of year for me because of nostalgia and all that good stuff. So anyway, get up, get out, get rad. Do it to it. We'll see you next time on a body beat down, which is gonna be tomorrow. Deadlift day. Even though we got a holiday tomorrow, Christmas Eve, that's when my family and everybody comes over here and piles in and we're crazy. Still gotta get it done. I still did my walk this morning in the bitter freezing temperature. I had snot frozen all over my face by the time I got home. Still did that, still spun on the bike, still getting it done, guys. We'll see y'all later. No excuses. Get it done. Get up, get out, get ran, and do it, do it!